Albany's Rock Station. I'm Steve King, and an Art Alisakis from Everclear has a new solo album. Actually, his first solo album ever. It uh, comes out on October 11th. It's called Sun Songs, the first single off it, The Hot Water Test, and a pleasure to have Art on the phone. Art, how are you? Hey, Steve. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Awesome. Good to talk to you. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. I uh, I can't wait to hear the entire album, Sun Songs, because I really, really liked the Hot Water Test, the, the one song, the single that I've been able to hear off of it so far. Thanks, man. I really like the song, too. I'm glad you do. Tell me about the album. Tell me about, uh, you know, I can't believe this is your first solo album, but tell me about it. Well, you know, I mean, I've been the main guy for Everclear for... 25 years, guy, that makes me feel old. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've, I've always, I do, I write everything and, and, uh, pretty much have the last word on everything. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I'd never done a solo record because it seemed like if I was working with other musicians, what would be the point of it, right? It would right. be just too much like Everclear. Um, so when I did this record, I wanted to do something different or it just didn't sound fun to me. And so the idea of just me in the studio with one guy recording it and co-producing it with me and mixing it, and uh, I got my friend Stuart Schenk, and that's me playing all the instruments, uh, all acoustic guitars, all acoustic basses, all acoustic drums, no sequencing, um, very little Pro Tool, very, very little auto-tune, if at all, Mm -hmm. on a lot of songs. And um, it's just, it sounds like a record I grew up with, you know, it sounds warm um, and uh, big and, and just uh, easy to listen to, but it still has a rock and roll heart. I tried to, I tried to write like fancy acoustic songs, but that's just not me. I'm a rocker. <laughs> I'm a rock guy. Your, your songs all the way back through, you know, Everclear, everything has always been, you know, described as honest and raw. And, you know, y- y- you take a perspective of just, I guess, honesty is probably the best way. Is that kind of the same thing with this album? Uh, I, whoever said that, thank you very much. Because, I mean, to me, honesty in any kind of art is really, really important to me. I don't like pretension. I don't like, uh, you know when you're too precocious or you're trying too hard that it, lyrically, musically, artistically, um, I like honesty and, and a, a simple kind of complexity, you know, that you have to, that it seems simple. It seems very one way. And then if, if it's crafted well, it's got different layers to it that come to you as time goes on. And that's what I try to achieve when I make a record mm-hmm. or do anything. It's- and so, um, you saying that, I appreciate that. It, it's like, uh, you know, it's one thing to write, you know, a hit song that people, you know, kind of identify with, but really has no substance. I always felt like listening to your music and including, you know, the hot water test, I feel like I'm seeing uh, a part of you. I'm getting a little bit of art that I didn't know before. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you are. I mean, father of mine, um, Wonderful. Wonderful wasn't autobiographical, but it, it was from different things in my life, mm-hmm. for sure. But but Father of Mine and Hot Water Test are hardcore autobiographical. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you need to do that. And my whole thing as a writer, the really good writers that I grew up listening to, the Joni Mitchells and uh, you know Neil Young, thing, autobiographical things and things that they just write, you couldn't tell the difference. Mm-hmm. You know, you couldn't tell. It sounded like their voice, both the way they sang it and the music and the way it came off paper, you could see and hear their voice. Mm-hmm. And that's what I tried to achieve. Why did uh, Why did you decide now was the perfect time for you to put out a solo album, Art? Well, I just it just seemed like a good time. I started writing songs. And I didn't want to do an Everclear record. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't want to do a big, loud rock record. So I was like, yeah, man, I think I'll do this myself. And I called Stuart, my friend, and he's like, that sounds like a blast. And I, I told my label I was going to do it and just said, you know, y- you guys don't have to be a part of this. I'll find some little label to put it on or I'll put it out myself. They're like, no, man, we want to do it. That's cool. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we're <laughs> anything. Oh, 
Hopefully they won't come back to bite you, but they're very happy with the record. <laughs> That's okay. good. That's yeah. good. Tell me about the song, The Hot Water Test, because I know uh, after reading a little bit about what The Hot Water Test is, how that, you know, works into your life now. Well, if you've done some reading on it like I did, you know what, that the early part of the 20th century and the late part of the 19th century to diagnose MS on living people they could figure it out after you're dead. Mm-hmm. But on living people, they knew that heat was something um, that brought out the symptoms. And so they would put people into really, really hot water and sometimes, you know, they'd kill them. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean, it was bad. It was barbaric. And um, I, uh, after being diagnosed and learning about it and talking to people about it, I feel that when you have a disease like this or cancer or Parkinson's or something that is going to change your life or, or um, uh, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, mm-hmm. ALS, mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, it's an amazing, amazing punk rock pioneer singer, um, him from the band The Muffs, died of ALS mm-hmm. just about last yep. week. Yeah, last week. And, yeah, and uh, I was, no one knew. Well, when I knew, knew her, knew she had it. Mm-hmm. She just, you know, she just kept it to herself and um, didn't go out in public a lot and uh, just, you know, lived her life and, and died from it. I won't die from MS, but mm-hmm. it could very well put me into a uh, a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to avoid that at all costs by changing my diet, changing my lifestyle, changing my attitude, and, and just being positive and working as hard as I can. And the hot water test, the song itself is is autobiographical, but it it doesn't specifically talk about MS. It could be anybody with a disease and right. I'm sure you know, you know, when you get to be older, everybody you know somebody's has something mm-hmm. some sort of disease somewhere. You know exactly. everybody knows someone who has it or you've had it or you have it in your family. It's just the way it is. I, I have two friends that have MS, and so that song specifically, and and your journey right now has really spoken to me personally. Um, and okay. I've I've actually said, you know, to my my friend Kim, and said, you need to get this album. I think uh, I think you'd really enjoy, you know, this kind of journey that Art is on as well that she is on. Um, my my best to Kim and, and to your other friend as well. Um, you know, we're warriors, man. We're out there fighting. Mm-hmm. Everybody is. And, you know, this makes life harder, but it, it, it's still life. That's the one thing I've learned. I know it sounds like a Hallmark card, but it's really, <laughs> really true. I just don't put, up, I don't put up with the crap anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't have time. If it's not fun, if it's not positive, if it's not good, I don't want it in my life. Right. My wife feels the same way. We're, we're just we're warriors, man. That's my awesome. whole family, we're just, you know. You've always kind of been an activist. An activist. You've always been, Absolutely. you know, at the front of of many issues, and and this seems to be, you know, maybe your latest one that you can, you know, hopefully uh, bring some more spotlight to it. I guess. Well, I guess so. You know, when I came out um, publicly back in March, April, with uh, that I had MS. Mm-hmm. You know, I got a lot of offers from people, even people that made the the. the um, the, the, a lot, a lot of drugs, you know, from big pharma sure. was interested if I wanted to be a spokesman for it. And I'm like, man, I don't want to be. That's the last thing I want to be is like <laughs> a spokesman for big pharma. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, you know, I and I don't really want to be the MS guy, right? You know, you don't want to be but, the Michael J. Fox of MS. Well, no, because I don't think that's fair. Mm-hmm. Michael, my, Michael J. Fox does have. Parkinson's and it's definitely affected him. Oh yeah, and he and he, but he's worked and he stayed public mm-hmm. and he does a lot of stuff about it. So I guess it is kind of fair in a way. I mean, everybody who knows him knows that he has that. And you know what? Maybe that's maybe that's my journey. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Right now, it's a part of my life, and I talked about it, and I wrote the song about it, and it's there. And that's it. And I'm moving on. It doesn't Move define on. you. Your music defines you, not not a disease that you have. I define me. Yeah, you exactly. Define me. Exactly. Uh, nothing else defines us unless we allow it to. 
Now, you have a, a short tour that you're doing in the month of October with this album as well. Are you planning on a full-blown tour next year? Are you, you going to do more touring? Oh, we've got, counting in October and November, those dates are going to be released later awesome. this week, early next week. Awesome. we got shows and uh, solo shows in uh, November and December and January as well. Very so, cool. Very cool. Uh, well, we have about 25 more dates. I hope you're coming to Albany at some point. We'd love to see you here. I don't. I don't think I've seen that on the list, but there's there's room there's room for more. There you go. Just get close. We'll we'll travel to see you, Art. No okay. question. Thanks, <laughs> well, Good I wish you, you absolutely. I wish you all the best. I I love the album Sun Song. It comes out uh, October 11th. The uh, the the song Hot Water Test is just great, and I've always really enjoyed your music. And it's a, a pleasure to talk to you. And I wish you all the best. Thanks, Steve. All the Th- best to you as well. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.